Hello, today we are going to be going over all of the different tools you have inside of the viewing portion of DentiView imaging software. You are able to change the brightness contrast in a couple different ways inside of the software. The first being dragging across the image to change the brightness contrast. You also have the ability to use the box in the upper right corner to change the brightness contrast. Third option would be dragging the triangles in these boxes different directions up and down to make it look different. Next thing in here are going to be the zoom in and zoom out buttons. You can zoom in or out to an image by using the zoom in and out. Then you have the full screen button. As you'll notice when you hover over each button, it does give you a brief description of what it does. So if you wanna zoom in, to full screen and then close out of full screen. This one here is a little bit different because it has multiple things that it can do. It can give you multiple different ways of zooming in and out of the image, starting at different points. So as you click through this, you'll see all the different ways, but what it allows you to do is use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out to an image starting at different points to make the image larger. The next buttons in the tools are going to be your basic flips and rotates, which allow you to orientate the image correctly. Normally, you won't have to use these if you chose the correct tooth association when capturing into the software, but they are there if you need them. The next set of buttons are going to be the manually arrange images and automatically arrange images. So if we click on the manually arrange images, this allows us to move the images in anywhere we want on the screen. And then once we are done, we can close out or we can have it automatically arrange them. And the automatic arrangement tool is going to do its best to equally lay the images out so that they're very similar in size. Next set of tools are going to be your measurement tool, which will allow you to get measurements for different things. Annotations are going to be able to mark up the image with different types of annotations to help you be able to recognize different things. The next button down is going to be the magnify button. This just allows you to magnify a specific spot on your image so that you can see that specific area magnified. The cropping button is not commonly used, but what this allows is for you to crop out a section of the image and store it as its own image. So if you wanted to crop out a specific area, you would highlight that specific area and then it will save as its own individual image. The next two tools on the list are for um, density profile, you can open that up and then select the image, the area of the image, and it will give you a density profile. The next tool is going to be a stitching tool. Um, this just kind of allows you to take a single image, put it next to in a second image, and then you can combine them into a single image to make it so it's like a two byte wing side by side as a single image. The next one is going to be to save an image. So if we go and select one of our images and hit this little save icon, it's going to duplicate the image and then save it. So that way you have your original and then you have another one that you could then go and mark up with annotations or measurements and still keep your good looking x-ray. Print is obviously pretty straightforward. Print the selected image or print all of the images. Then you have the negative image or negate image, excuse me, that's going to invert the image for you. And then you have the colorized image. Very bottom two buttons are embossed. It's going to just emboss the image, make it look a little different. You have a couple different options down here to emboss with. They're very minimal emboss um, unless you change the depth. And then this one here allows you to go in and adjust to other preset filters that you can assign to images if you want to. Very bottom left is going to be restored to original. So no matter what changes you've made to an image, flip it, mirror it, rotate it, whatever, when you restore to original, 
it's going to take the image back to its original form when it was captured. The cogwheel is going to bring up some just different settings and things for the overlay settings of what shows up in certain images when they're printed out. Hope that helps with understanding the different tools and functionality inside of the Dentiview imaging software. Hope you guys have a great day.